Welcome to Africa News Roundup. Starting off this segment, Nigerian President Bola Tinubu ordered on Monday the immediate release of all minors currently facing trial for taking part in the cost of living protests. The announcement was made by the Minister of Information, putting end to weeks of public outrage. A total of 76 protesters were charged with 10 felony counts, including treason, destruction of property, public disturbance and mutiny. Some of them appeared in court on Friday and four collapsed due to exhaustion before they could even enter a plea. According to the charge sheet, the minors range in the ages from 14 to 17 years old. The presidential directive is without prejudice to the ongoing legal proceedings. As directed by the president, an administrative committee will be set up to examine all issues surrounding their arrest, detention and treatment. Investigations are also to be launched into law enforcement agencies involved in their arrest. Frustrations over the cost of living crisis has led to several mass protests in recent months. Should the minors be arrested in the first place because if proper provision of normal cost of living is provided, by the government, then the minors will not be out on the streets. Nevertheless, their release should be promptly done. Still on African news, the group who reportedly backed by Rwanda seized the strategic town of Kamandi Gite, according to the media report. Kamandi Gite is located on the banks of Lake Edward and offer a connection to the city of Beni. After the town fell to the rebels, local media reported that the forced displacement was seen, citing sources on the ground. Self-defense fighters known as Patriots, who are affiliated with the DRC's military, confronted the M23 rebels. This new conflict arises as experts from the Democratic Republic of Congo and Rwanda continue to discuss the Luanda process. According to reports, Rwanda and the Democratic Republic of Congo have reached an agreement on a plan that calls for the disengagement of military forces and the neutralization of the FDLR, which included combatants involved in the Rwandan genocide in 1994. Finally, on African news, the president of Mozambique on Tuesday urged for an end to protest against the recent election results. According to medical associations, more than a dozen people have been killed and dozens more injured in clashes in recent days. Crowd took to the streets of Maputo on Tuesday denouncing police violence. Police have used tear gas and gunfire during the protest and the country's interior minister has argued that this was needed to restore public order after demonstrations turned violent. The country's electoral commission declared earlier in October that Freely Mode, the ruling party, had won the October 9th election, extending its 49-year rule. Observers and opposition candidates claimed that the vote was manipulated. There has been no response from the electoral commission. Podemos, the opposition party, has appealed the results to the Constitutional Council in the meantime. Now, in order to bring peace back into the country, the people should have access to a fair and accountable election process. And that's all I have for you on African News Roundup. Until next time, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you.